Okay, let's make a scatter plot to show the relationship between two variables, age and income. I've selected these by clicking on the column letter above each of the, the columns. Hold down Control so you can select both at the same time. Click Insert, go to the scatter plot chart, down arrow to the right, click this very first one right here, and here's our chart. So, a couple things you may notice. First of all, this isn't a perfect scatter plot, meaning the dots are clearly grouped into what looks like columns. Why would that be? Well, that's because if you take a look at our data, you'll notice that income is rounded to the nearest thousand, or ten thousand, excuse me. As a result, all of our dots that show age are going to be grouped at each ten thousandth marker. Now, a few things we can do to improve this chart to make it more readable. Uh, first of all, I would add a trend line. So click here on the plus, trend line. This line represents the, the least sum of squared residuals, meaning if I take every single dot and take the absolute value or the squared value, which is going to be positive whether the dot is below or above the line, do the difference between that dot and the line and minimize the sum of the squared residuals of every single dot, this is the line that results. Because the line gradually slopes up, it has a positive slope. Think back to your seventh or eighth grade math, this should start to sound familiar has a positive slope, which means the relationship between age and income is positive, meaning as income increases, age increases. But the more likely explanation is that as age increases, income increases. This line doesn't tell us which variable is causing which, it just simply shows the relationship between the two of them is positive. And uh, other things I would do to this scatter plot would be to give it a good title. Income by age. Give it a second. My Excel is kind of slow. There we go. Um, for now, that's all that I'll do. Besides noticing the slope is positive, pay attention to a few other things. First, it looks like most of our dots are grouped down here with fewer and fewer dots up here in the higher income ranges. Anyway, that's it for scatter plots.